Hey y'all, just wanted to show y'all my dirty water. Yes, my herbs. That's what I call it, dirty water. Because, you know, when I lived in West Trenton, I would make a big batch inside of a um, pickle, old pickle jar. You know, the pickle jar that you buy all the big, you know, the big pickle jars. So you get the big glass jar. Well, after I washed it out, ate all the pickles, washed it out. Then I put, which I like to call, um, uh, well, well, let me see, bodies in there. <laughs> no, you know, I might call them herbs, but I call them bodies. You know, after I put bodies in there, I fill up with water and let it ferment, taste nice and luscious. Look nice and luscious, and it really looks like silt at the bottom. You know, it looks really like dirt, <laughs> dirt at the bottom, and all the brown water at the top. But all the goodness done leaked out and let it sit around a little bit to let it ferment. But, you know, it'll ferment as time go on because that lasts a very long time. You know, if I start drinking that and the, uh, the Bible does say it's for the healing of the land. And trust is for the healing of the land. Somebody disrespected and the Lord need to set order. Trust me. See how many bodies you soak up. <laughs> and, and see if you actually end up soaking something other than a body well before it was a thick layer of white guys bodies you know these white devils they get you in these slave camps called uh, these lying ass mental institutions uh where it's, it, you know indoctr try to keep uh, try to indoctrinate you harass you just like that movie i had my mom watch uh les miserables Chasing you for as if you're the piece of bread, putting a plate, putting plates under your feet, <laughs> you know. But they not really put plates under your feet. They snatch you up from the streets with their fake court orders, you know, from all these other little dirty, ratchet, COVID killers of the street spreading the poison. Throw you in a spot, and then they all sign in voluntary. And, and, and there are some who try to act like they they moving, and they just can't stop. They're moving, and they just can't stop. You know, and so they the ones that be really brought on involuntarily, fake suicide. Like, oh no, I gotta do something. What I gotta do? Oh, I'm committing suicide. <laughs> So, and, and just like, just like in Jacksonville, some dumb bitch, they said, at the rape, uh, uh, the Simmons rape shower house, they said, they made me stay back and one other girl happened to pop up after they left. You know, this is the order they do. We leave and you come and, you know, and here she went and bought some food and then she eat like, she's totally depressed. That's what they do putting on spirits so they can spread spirits but anyway just like Christmas anyway so how's that my dirty water so far thick layer of white guy like yeah you know you signed in volunteering and y'all having all these people that's really part of the American security black ops a system you could tell he's black black ops or something or some private security you know that uh, always uh uh always what's that quantifying i can't think of my own words see so i'm stuck see now i guess i'm stuck on gay kevin uh emmons you know from Rutgers nursing program who's not qualified to teach um uh registered nurses because he don't fit you know the, the new jersey standards but guess what? They broke all the rules the last time I was there in my bachelor's degree. And so that's when I came back nine years after my enslavement, when I when I got up to him, knowing he's a gay white boy trying to institute gayism into the American health system, my voice automatically turned into an Italian man. It was like, Kevin, it's been nine years. And it sounded just like an Italian man who's going to fucking clean his ass. Yeah, no wonder his voice popped out at McLeany, right, trying to jump right, superimpose itself right on me right before I entered Walgreens. And guess what? Everybody at Walgreens institutes the silver top, black bottom, New World Order gang in McLeany. But anyway, not unless it's McLeany, you know, because, you know, yeah, when I was at Maryland, 
2012, before I got enslaved, the word Lynn was being put in everywhere. So you don't know if it's McClenny or McCleany, because right now they try to clean that ass up. Being that, that we enslaved her, but we just, I don't know, we, we haven't got her. She's not a golem for us. Yada, yada, yada. But whatever. Anyway, dirty water. So, a thick layer of, yep, somebody who didn't need to be there just like me. Yeah, judgment for that rained. And there, I guess it was some cherry out of white boy's ass. 